How does a car actually brake? Today, I am going to walk you through it. First, the brake booster is installed. This part provides extra assist when you press the brake pedal. The brake booster information is scanned and recorded first. Next, four brake fluid line clips are prepared. The brake booster is inserted into the reserve <coughs> opening on the firewall. The brake booster wiring harness is clipped in and the connector is plugged in. Then, the four brake fluid line clips are secured onto the firewall. After that, the brake pedal is installed. The accelerator pedal wiring harness is clipped in and connected. The brake pedal is mounted and secured with four nuts. The two rear nuts are fastened onto the booster studs, which means tightening the pedal also locks the brake booster in place. An electronic wrench is then used to fully tighten the fasteners. At this point, the brake pedal and the brake booster are mechanically connected. Next comes the anti-lock braking system pump. A mounting bracket is installed first and secured with three bolts. Brake fluid line rubber plugs are installed on both the left and right sides. Then the anti-lock braking system pump is brought in and the first brake fluid line is attached. The pump is mounted onto the bracket and the first line is clipped in place. One end of this brake fluid line connects to the brake master cylinder and is lightly tightened first. The second brake fluid line is installed the same way, with a light initial tightening. A special electronic wrench is then used to fully tighten both ends of these two brake fluid lines. When you press the brake pedal, brake fluid flows from the brake master cylinder to the anti-lock braking system pump. From there, hydraulic pressure is distributed to the brake calipers. The brake calipers then apply braking force to slow the vehicle down. Next, four brake fluid lines that connect to the brake calipers are installed. The first line connects to the rear wheel brake caliper, then the left front brake fluid line is installed. One end passes through the opening that was prepared earlier using the rubber plug, and the other end connects to the anti-lock braking system pump. The third line goes to the right front brake caliper and is installed the same way. The final line connects to the rear wheel and is simply clipped into the brake line holder. After that, the connector for the anti-lock braking system pump is plugged in. An electronic wrench is used to tighten all four brake fluid lines in sequence. Once the chassis and body are joined together, the brake fluid lines are connected to each wheel brake caliper, and the brake system installation is complete. Follow me, and I will take you through the full car production process, step by step.